Alright, we'll go! It's better than it's ever been. How many Wilco shows have you seen? Probably like nine, including like one of their first shows one ever. Of their first shows ever? Yeah. In Chicago. Lived in Chicago. So have you seen like almost every tour since? Uh, no, I wouldn't say I've seen every tour, but I, they've definitely changed. Uh, Nels has totally turned this band into something that's totally different. It's unbelievable. You think it's all about Nels? No, not really. I mean, I think what the difference is, is like Tweety now will like take a step back and let other people rock. And that's big. I mean, that changes the game. Uh, I had an extra ticket and I told John and John gave it to his friend. Very circuitous. Well, it goes, you know, it's more, it could be a song. Jeff Tweedy, if he heard this, would it would become a song. Right, right. There's never something that's... So this wasn't your first Wilco show? No, it's my fifth. That's it? And how did it stack up to the others? It was very good. Very good. When was the last time you saw them before tonight? At the Pabst Theater in Milwaukee about a year ago. Oh, cool. What do you think of this Overture Center for Rock show? It's a very nice venue. The acoustics were excellent. It sounded great. Grab the ball. You guys have been to Madison a lot. Are there, is there anything special you look forward to when you, when you come here? Uh, let's see. Well, <laughs> it, it, it depends what time of the year. It's not really, you know, because it's like it's one of the cities that are close to Chicago, so we either do it go, leaving or coming back. We tend we play more in Madison than probably, you know, many other cities, probably including Chicago. Um, so it, it, you know, I always enjoy coming here. Uh, the um, I, I really enjoy uh, summertime a little bit more. Uh, this is the first time we played Dead of Winter, so I was able to walk out on the lake a little bit today, oh, Lake cool. Dota, and, and uh, you see some ice and, fishing. Yeah, there? yeah, there were guys way out there, and and um, and uh, it was, um, but it's beautiful in the summer. Um, you know, I've, I've kind of spent more time around the lake then, but I usually like to just kind of walk around around over there. Are there like restaurants or anything? The, the um, ca is Cafe Montmartre? Is that is that here? Yeah. Yeah, that's they, what I think. They, they, uh, they closed. They closed. Year, right? Bummer. Yeah. Oh yeah, she was. That was a nice place. The Autumn Defense played here a few times, and yeah. uh, played there. And uh, and um, you know, OK's Corral. You know, it was right. like you know, I'm, I'm naming all these like sort of <laughs> right. the whole, the whole, <laughs> extinct yeah. places. Well, can you tell me where? <laughs> this is, I'm, I'm totally spacing where Wilco used to play all the shows at uh, the smaller theater over by the health food store on the oh oh, oh the um, the uh, uh, the Barrymore Barrymore yeah the that Barrymore, was that I was mean, yeah that was right. great. I mean, we played there a, a lot. You know, we right. played there. You play like Five every, times, every venue probably in town. Like that. Yeah. It's funny. It's, it's a long story. Um, yeah, this guy is completely shred. Is that your first Wilco show? It's my first Wilco show, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, actually, I'm a total neophyte. Wow. Well, now you're, well, this was a good one, though. It was. It really, it really uh, smoked. Yeah, you guys got beers or whatever? I did seek out. Uh, I couldn't remember what it was called, but I went to a good breakfast place a few years ago. A few years ago, and I found it today. It's called Marigold. You know, it was really tasty. What do you like to get there? Yeah, I used to like to get to it. Or what did you get there today? Oh, yeah. Now they didn't have Eggs Benedict, which was disturbing. I was wondering why there wasn't Eggs Benedict on the That is disturbing. I did. I got some kind of scramble, some kind of like a special scramble today, and it was delightful. <laughs> Um, okay, you know, I know I love it, but maybe it's your hair and then just the way the beard is. But you know the show, um, Santa Claus is Coming to Town with that guy with the animation? Do you know that old kid? The old school one. Yeah, yeah. That's a it was no Chris Kringle. It's the story of Chris Kringle. No, that's where the, that's really good. <laughs> It's good fun. Wilco!